Hello everyone, this is John from Ohio Pacific Productions. Just about three weeks ago, me and a few other YouTubers released videos covering the Save the Chessie campaign. In short, this is a charity.gofundme by the Cincinnati Scenic Railway to acquire former Chessie System slash Baltimore, Ohio 6955 from National Railway Equipment. The ultimate goal of the campaign is to acquire the locomotive and have it in service on both the Lebanon Mason and Monroe Railroad and the highly successful Ohio Rail Experience pulling excursion trains across western Ohio. Currently, as of the making of this video, my first video on the subject has been seen by around 750 people and the number is still rising. Also, another YouTuber, Scott DePaule, has made his own video on the subject and it has been seen by around 1,810 people. Also, I shared it to a bunch of Facebook groups across Facebook and it seems to be doing well. But, unfortunately, despite being seen by so many people, the campaign has only made as much as $1,305 as of the making of this video. Unfortunately, some people don't think the goal is doable, and I believe that there are many others out there that are just still deciding on whether or not to donate. So I decided to make this video to try to convince you guys and anyone else who decides to see this video to donate to this cause. I'll first begin by explaining as much as I know about what's going on. To begin with, Chessie System slash Baltimore, Ohio 6955 is an EMD GP30 that was built in 1962 at the General Motors Electromotive Division plant in LaGrange, Illinois. It worked for the Baltimore, Ohio Railroad well into the Chessie System days, but during that era it was painted into the Chessie System colors. Eventually, when CSX was created, the engine was renumbered to 4260, but managed to avoid getting turned into a road slug as many of its siblings were turned into that. A road slug, in railroad terms, is a locomotive without a diesel engine, and only has its traction motors to turn the wheels. Right, here go. CSX during the 1980s and early 90s rebuilt many of their GP30s into road slugs and some of them can still be seen today on CSX. Anyway, instead of turning 6955 into a road slug, it was later sold off and it bounced around from various short lines until it landed in the hands of National Railway Equipment, a locomotive leasing, rebuilding, and manufacturing company. Once there, the engine was stored at their storage yard in Silvis, Illinois, and that's where it remains right now. Now. Getting to the group that's trying to acquire the engine is the Cincinnati Scenic Railway. The CSR is a non-profit 501c3 organization that operates the famed Lebanon Mason and Monroe Railroad in Lebanon, Ohio, and the famed Ohio Rail Experience which operates many excursion trains across western Ohio. They also own a small collection of vintage diesels such as C&O 5704, Nickel Plate Road 501, and Great Miami 502, which is also a former Nickel Plate Road locomotive. About a month ago, CSR and NRE came to a purchase agreement about 6955. NRE is willing to sell 6955 to CSR for $35,000. The only catch is that CSR only has till October 31st, 2020 of this year to get the money to buy the engine off of NRE. So, the charity.gofundme was created to try and raise the money, as I imagine the group does not have the funds to acquire the locomotive themselves. 
I imagine that any other money they do have is more than likely going to paying taxes on either the Lebanon Mason and Monroe Railroad or the Ohio Rail Experience, either through fuel costs or, well, maintenance. Just to be clear, this GoFundMe is just to raise the money necessary to purchase the engine from NRE. Once the engine has been purchased, the plan is to raise some more money to have the engine moved from Illinois back to Lebanon, Ohio for restoration. Hopefully, when that happens, they won't need to raise as much money as they need for this current campaign, and they won't need to raise it as fast as they did now, because they would have full ownership of the engine outright. Once the engine is back up and running again, which CSR is hoping to have it by the fall of 2022, it will operate excursion service pulling the Lebanon Mason Monroe trains and also pulling the famed Ohio Rail Experience trains across western Ohio. All the while, while being painted back into its Chessie system colors as it did back in the 1970s. Heck, there will be a chance to see it back on home rails when it pulls the Ohio Rail Experience's famed North End run between Lipsick, Ohio and Diane Tower just south of Dundee, Michigan. To get to the starting point of that trip, in Lipsick, Ohio, the train must use CSX's Toledo subdivision between Lima, Ohio and Lipsick, Ohio. And that would be a great opportunity to see a former Chessie system locomotive back on home rails. But all this will not happen if the charity.gofundme doesn't reach its goal. If that happens, NRE will withdraw their deal they had made with CSR and later this year, 6955, along with many other locomotives at their Silvis, Illinois yard facility will get scrapped as NRE plans on shutting down that location and scrapping everything that's inside there. So, if you're still deciding on whether or not to donate to this cause, I highly recommend doing so now more than ever. Don't wait to donate. The faster the goal is met, the quicker the engine can get saved. Also, for the people who are skeptical about the legitimacy of this campaign, I can assure you that this is the real deal. I know some friends who know the people who are running this operation, and I can assure you by that that this is the real deal. Also, for the people who don't know how to donate, I'll show you guys how. First, if you're donating via a computer, click on the charity.gofundme link down below in this video. It'll take you directly to the page. Once there, you can just click on the donate button. You don't need to log in to this website. Anyway, once you click on the donate button, then go to select a team member tab and select the Cincinnati Scenic Railway LMM Railroad, as that's the main team raising the money. Once that's selected, you can either click on the five buttons ranging from donate from $25 to $500 or go down below that and write down any amount you feel is necessary for you. You can donate as little as $10 to the cause. It's that easy. Once you put down the amount you wish to donate, the website will then ask for a tip. The tip money will go to supporting the charity.gofundme page to keep them going. You can choose between 5% to 15% or give them a custom amount, even as much as 1% is alright. Once that is done, you can then either put down your name and write a comment about what you've done, or hit the don't show my name button or the hide amount tab button to hide your name and amount of money you just donated. Either way, once you're done with all that, you then hit the continue button below that. That will then take you to a billing area where you can choose how you want to pay for it. 
And once you got all that information in, you just click on the donate button and voila, you just donated to the cause. Now if you're wanting to donate via your phone, it's very similar. Just click on the GoFundMe link down in the video description below and it will take you to the website. Once there, then click the donate button and then select the Cincinnati Scenic Railway LM&M Railroad from a Select the Team Member tab. Once that's selected, you can either click on the five buttons ranging from $25 to $500 or click on Other and donate as much or as little as $10 to the cause. Once that's all together, you then select the tip amount you wish to give to the website. Again, it ranges from 5% to 15% or a custom amount. After that, you then put down your name or if you want to comment. But if you also want to not do any of that, you can also hit the hide amount tab and don't show my name tabs as well. After that, just click on the continue button and then put the appropriate information into the billing area. And once all that's done, just click donate and then boom, you have just donated. It's that simple. So again, if you're still thinking about donating to the Save the Chessie campaign, I highly recommend donating now. Also, if any one of you is still thinking that it's way too late to save this engine, let me just point you over to Kansas City Southern 503. KCS 503 is a 460 steam locomotive that is on display in Port Arthur, Texas. Back in 2018, the city was planning on scrapping the engine for various reasons. But thanks to Jason Slavinsky, aka that steam guy, he started a GoFundMe to save the engine from its potential fate. The goal for that GoFundMe was to raise $65,000, twice as much as the Save the Chessie campaign. And they managed to get all the money in in just four days. Granted, in the end, the city decided to keep 503 after seeing the value of the locomotive, but after that, the money was then used to save Nickel Plate Road 587 later that year when the Indiana Transportation Museum was evicted from Forest Park in Noblesville, Indiana. So not only one locomotive was saved, but two of them were. So, if that's possible, hopefully this campaign can succeed. So one more time, if you're still on the rocks on deciding on whether or not to donate to this cause, I highly suggest doing so now. The faster the goal is met, the quicker the engine can be saved. Also, just recently, I learned that the Cincinnati Scenic Railway has just acquired former Chessie System slash Chesapeake and Ohio 904137, a bay window caboose generously donated by CSX Transportations. The goal for CSR is to restore the caboose back to its Chessie system colors and have it in service on the Lebanon, Mason, and Monroe Railroad. They also plan on having it used in their freight operations as well. Currently, they have an Indiegogo page for the caboose with the goal of raising around $2,800 to restore the caboose. As of the making of this video, the Indiegogo page has now raised around $502. The goal is flexible, but does have an end date, October 18th, 2020. But it is in safe hands now, since it's owned by the Cincinnati Scenic Railway. So perhaps in the future, 6955 and 904137 could be working together on the LM&N pulling and pushing the passenger train or there could be a special Chessie System photo freight charter in the future involving them. But that will not happen if the Save the Chessie campaign is not successful. So, if you're still debating on whether or not to donate, I highly recommend doing so now. I'll leave a link 
to both the Save the Chessie GoFundMe and to the Restore the Chessie System Caboose C&O 904137 Indiegogo page in the description box down below so you can go check them out. But the more important one is the GoFundMe since they have only a limited time to save the locomotive. So, if you only have enough money to donate to one fundraising page, I highly recommend the Save the Chessie campaign. Also, if the goal for the Save the Chessie campaign is reached before the deadline, I highly suggest you guys keep on donating. I believe any extra money raised during the campaign will go to help with the move of 6955 back to Lebanon, Ohio, and any other money raised might also go into the restoration of the locomotive to put it back into operation. And if by all this, you're still convinced that this campaign will not succeed, as Edward Jordan, chairman of Conrail, once said, If you want to decide in advance it can fail, fine. But for the rest of us that want to help see this locomotive get back on its wheels, go to the GoFundMe page linked down below and donate today. Also, most importantly, share not only this video, but also the Save the Chessie campaign as well. The more people who know what's going on, the more people who are willing to help with the cause. And also, even more importantly, donate. Even if you donated already once, if you have the funds, you can donate as many times as you wish, as long as you have the funds. As a matter of fact, the charity.gofundme page also offers a monthly donation option, but since there's only a month left, that might be a bit of a useless uh, option. But either way, please donate. Remember, we only have about a month left to raise the $35,000 before October 31st, 2020 comes. Also, I'll leave a link to the Save the Chessie website and the Facebook page down there too, so you can go check them out as well. And hopefully, we can save the Chessie.